Hey everybody, I have my iris sea moss. This is what it looks like in its dry form. I got it from Upple Blends. Okay everybody, here's my iris moss. I'm gonna strain it. Jelly. Whoa. Been five hours. So I'm doing this and then I'm going to place it in my blender and make the sea moss gel. Mm -hmm. My blender. Here's my Irish moss. We're going to dump it in it's pretty it's fishy but pretty okay I don't know where I should put water I'm thinking maybe on 16 and then start blending it up Oh, well. And a little higher. Okay, let's blend it up. Fishy, fishy, fishy. Probably shouldn't have put water. This is real liquidy. Hopefully it hardens up. I'm about to put it in the refriger refrigerator. The awesome thing about Irish sea moss or sea moss period, you can put it in smoothies, tea, uh, food recipes, all that good stuff. In these smoothies, normally I put bananas, of course, burro bananas or baby bananas, strawberries, mangoes, prickly pear, um, avocados, what else, papaya, uh, soursop, grapes, um, I can't think of anything else, but just try a recipe on your own, do whatever you like. So this is my sea moss, the second time around that I made it. I'm going to open it up and show you what the inside looks like. It definitely is a jelly texture, and I put it in a glass container this time. Last time, the video you saw where I put it in a plastic container and was pouring it, yeah, I didn't have a glass bowl at the time, but I really needed sea moss at that point, so I didn't care how I got it. But now I have my glass jar and all that good stuff. So let me open this up so you can see what it looks like. If you can see this, this definitely is a jelly texture. It's not moving around or, you know, falling. It's a gel. So, yeah. Definitely made it right the second time around. I didn't put any water. I just put it in the blender after soaking for five hours. Also, this time around, the liquid, after I had drained it, you know, this is the five-hour liquid that's a jelly substance. It's a thinner jelly. I saw on this guy's alkaline website that he uses it and puts it in water, a gallon of water or maybe a cup of water that he's drinking and I tried it it really doesn't taste like anything I truly don't know if there's any benefits to that but I'm just trying to let you guys know you can try it if you want right now I'm trying it I'm having allergies once again because the weather in Texas is up and down with cold and hot 
so my allergies are acting up so I don't know if you guys can tell I feel like I can't breathe through my nose but anyway that's it for this video if you well let me open this up before I end it the one I told you that this is the liquid that was from the five hours of sitting this is definitely a liquid substance you can see it shaking but it is slimy so I just put a teaspoon in my water and it doesn't taste like anything so um the other thing I was gonna tell you guys from the beginning of the video I said it smelled fishy it definitely smells fishy when you're cleaning it and all that good stuff um when you put it in smoothies if you have a good nose like me and my mom, you can smell the fishiness, but you don't taste it. So that's the good thing. Um, <clears throat> and I showed you some smoothies that I put it in. Of course, I didn't give a recipe because I just throw random stuff together that I like. But you can put it in tea. Um, I know there's recipes on YouTube you can look up for food items that you can do. So check all that out. Of course, it's not on my channel. Um, but just type in alkaline sea moss recipes or whatever like that. Thank you guys for watching. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe. See you later.